Hello, I think this is my first ever speaking YouTube video, so welcome. So about a week ago, I moved all the way from Toronto, Canada to good old Southern California with my cat, my partner, two French horns, about 200 pounds of recording gear. <laughs> and we were hoping to move up to LA to a new place with like a dedicated streaming slash recording room. I was so excited, but it fell through. So right now I'm here in San Diego, staying with my parents for a couple weeks while we find a new place. But of course I still have to work. So I needed a place to set up a temporary like streaming slash recording studio. So yeah, I thought I'd take you behind the scenes and show you what gear I use, how I set everything up, and show you what it looks like. But first, if you're new here, my name is Alana. I'm a professional French horn player, recording artist, Twitch streamer, content creator. What else do I do? If you like this video, please subscribe. I really want to try to do more YouTube videos pretty regularly. Let's get into it. So over the last few days, I scoped out a couple of areas in the house that might work both aesthetically and acoustically. And honestly, I had a really hard time finding a place that would have enough room for me to set up the ridiculous amount of gear that I have. You might recognize this little corner of the dining room from some of my newer shorts. It's kind of the best option I could find. Now, before we get too far into the gear, I just wanna say that it's taken me years and years and years of doing this to acquire all this equipment. If you wanna start recording, in no way do you need any of this. I started streaming on Twitch and recording content with just a laptop and my phone, and over time and through a lot of donations from followers and just a lot of saving, I was able to slowly upgrade my gear. Maybe I should make a video on starter recording equipment. Let me know if you're into that. Okay, so I brought out my PC and one monitor and I just ordered this other matching monitor so that I can, you know, be a real streamer. So we're gonna unbox that really quickly. And this is what we're looking like so far, but we still have a ton more to go. Okay, here's my genius plan. So I realized halfway through this that my computer only has one HDMI port, so it won't take two monitors. So I was like, oh, I'll just plug it into this HDMI splitter. You can basically plug in two HDMI sources and it will output as one. Oh, how wrong I was. <laughs> Basically, it took me like an hour to figure this out, but I need to buy a different plug for one of them so that they can both turn on. Only one of them was working. So that's okay. This stuff happens. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. This is my interface. It's the PreSonus Studio 68C. If you don't know what an interface is, this basically ports your microphone signal into the computer. Speaking of microphones, I have two microphones. I use one for French horn and one for singing. This is the one I use for French horn. It's the Rode NT1A. I find that generally recording brass instruments sounds a lot better when you use a large diaphragm condenser microphone. For singing and looping on Twitch, I use this Shure SM7B. Oh, don't look at it, it's so dirty, <laughs> but it works really well. So now I'm just gonna set up my mic arms. I found that with this Shure mic, I absolutely have to use this cloud lifter. Um, it basically plugs into both the microphone and the interface, and it turns up the gain on the microphone without distorting it. The Shure mic is just super quiet for some reason, so I have to have this thing. Okay, here's where things get really jank. I usually use these desk-mounted mic arms, but obviously it doesn't work on this giant dining room table, so... <laughs> Here's my solution. I'm gonna put it on this arm of the dining room chair. <laughs> I'm really scared that my mom's gonna be mad about this, so I'm gonna wrap it up really nicely so that it doesn't scratch the chair with this llama napkin. <laughs> We're looking pretty good, and I still have a lot more to add to this, so well, here we go. <laughs> So obviously French horn is my main instrument, but over on Twitch, I make loops with a bunch of different instruments, so I need some different gear for that. This is my 61 key MIDI keyboard. And then this is my Novation launch pad. This is what I use to control my loops through Ableton. 
This is my stream deck and you can basically program this to do like whatever you want, but I use this to control what scenes you see of me on stream. I have this little pedal that I put down there that I connect to the MIDI keyboard and basically I can use that to trigger when I want loops to start and end. And last but not least, of course, we've got the guitars. I have a Yamaha C40 Classical and a Gretsch uh, Streamliner. I can't remember what it is, but it's a Gretsch like semi-hollow body. Of course, no recording setup is complete without some mood lighting. And I know I'm super late to the sunset lamp game, but it looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it so much and I can't believe it took me this long to get one. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.